Today, we're starting with one of the most common marketing struggles out there, planning content. I think we've all been there. You pop your laptop open, you find yourself staring at a blank content calendar, then you start scrambling. What were you supposed to post today? Didn't product marketing request something? Isn't today national something day? And suddenly your boss starts messaging you, asking you, why haven't we gone viral yet this year? With zero plan or budget. I've been there before. I spent hours trying to come up with something that felt fresh and still just ended up posting something just to check a box. What if you can walk into your next planning meeting with a year full of content already mapped out? Just a tangible, usable framework that actually works. Listen, I've used this exact method to plan hundreds of posts in under two hours. By the end of this video, you'll know how to generate great content ideas, how to group them into themes, and how to turn them into a year-long roadmap that makes your life so much easier. Before we even think about organizing or planning anything, we're gonna start with something super low tech and quite therapeutic. Because let's be real, half the stress of content planning usually comes from trying to just hold everything in your head. This technique, it's pretty old school, but I promise it works. I'm talking about a brain dump. We're gonna get everything out of your head and onto a page. So do me a favor, set a 15 minute timer. You can either open a doc, grab a whiteboard, or even a notebook whatever works, and start writing down every content idea, every request, every campaign, or recurring thing that you can think of. Don't worry if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Just get it out. Things like maybe product launches, or maybe like a cool behind the scenes story. This is the, we should feature that customer story request that's been sitting in your Slack DMs for the last three months. I dump it all into the page. This part's pretty messy, and that, that's on purpose. We'll organize it in just a second. But right now, your only job is just to get it out of your head and onto a page. You might hit 50 or you might hit 200. Either way, you've made progress. And once you've got these raw ideas down, it's then time to organize. Let's talk about content pillars. So basically, that's the three to five themes that your brand should own when it comes to content. You're gonna to wanna to aim for three to five. If you get fewer than three, you're probably being a bit too narrow. You're gonna want a bit of variety. Look at your brain dump. Let's group those similar ideas and maybe look for patterns. This is where we tell product stories, or this is how we feature our community. This is where we get to be fun and trendy. Let me give you a quick example. Let's just say you're a product marketer at a fast growing brand. Your pillars might look something like this. First, product stories and launches. This is the behind the scene work, like what sold out in four hours and how we restocked it or while we waited 18 months to launch this flavor. Second, you could show how your customers actually use the product. These are real life routines, hacks, and transformations. Here are some examples. Three ways creators style our best-selling linen set, or inside our community's morning rituals. And third, leaning into tips, trends, and cultures. This is the fun one. Show that you're a part of the world your customers actually live in. And if you're thinking, do memes count as pillars? Yes. If your audience lives for that energy, make it a pillar. What you choose will depend on your brand, but your pillars should do one of two things. One, they should reflect what your audience actually cares about. And two, they should ladder back to what you need to communicate as a business. These will shape your entire content calendar and make it 10 times easier to say yes or no to new ideas all year long. You've got your pillars, but themes are not content. Product storytelling is a great direction, but it's not a post. Now comes the fun part, turning those themes into actual ready to go content ideas. I start by listening. I mean, literally listening. I listen to sales calls. I read support tickets. Are our customers asking the same question more than once? Guess what? That's content. Here's a cheat code. If you've said it three times this week to a customer on a call or in a Slack thread, it's probably a pretty good piece of content. Use AI or quick search to surface evergreen hooks. Things like back to school, how to coordinate work during the summer months, and zoom out a bit. See what people are searching for. If your audience is Googling how to repurpose that webinar, Give them that. We've literally turned one search into a full content cluster. That's a video, a blog, and social media post. 
Oh, and while you're at it, make sure you're hitting all of the stages of your funnel. You want awareness content. That's like the pain points, trends, or, or hot takes from your customers. You want consideration content. That's the for example or how to in comparisons. And you want conversion content, where you cover the product POV, the feature drops, and any of the use cases. Do not forget about your competitors. Are they silent on something that perhaps your audience cares about? That's a chance for you to step in and own that space. Use that list and you'll never run out of ideas. You're probably gonna want a tool to organize all this. Something that doesn't just hold your ideas, but it actually helps you manage them. The most important criteria is going to be that you choose something that you actually stick with. For me, my project in Asana helps keep everything in one place. And the calendar view is perfect for seeing how our content spreads across the month. I can tag each idea by content pillar or persona or even funnel stage. So that it's super easy for me to spot those double ups. And I love that I can use Asana AI to shoot out a status update in roughly 30 seconds. It's a quick, here's what's coming next month, here's how last month performed, done. No need to build that deck. I even set up content request intake flow so that when new requests come in, because we know that they will, I just send them over a form link and it drops straight into my calendar with all the details that I need. No more Slack chaos, no more forgetting to ask, just done. You've got a stack of content ideas, but unless you actually schedule them, they'll live forever in that Google Doc that you forgot to open. So let's get them on the calendar. Start by picking your cadence. How often are you posting? Is it three times a week? Is it weekly? Is it twice a month? You don't want five product posts back to back. Rotate the themes so you're staying balanced and fresh. Next, map out those key moments. Is there a product launch in Q2? Maybe a big customer event in the fall? Maybe even end of year wrap ups? Mark those now so your content supports them and it does not compete with them. And then batch the work when you can. If you're writing, write multiple posts in one setting. If you're filming, knock out a few videos back to back. Now take all of it, your ideas, your cadence, and your dates, and track it in one place. Maybe a paper calendar, maybe even a sauna. Whatever works for you. The only rule, do not split it between five tools. Now this is the moment where your content goes from a bunch of scattered ideas to an actual system. You just went from, we should really get ahead of the content to here's our plan for the next 12 months. Listen, that's huge. You started this video with a blank page. Now you've got this, a brain dump of ideas, clear repeatable themes, and dozens of content topics, and a system to make it all happen. That's your entire year mapped out. If you didn't follow along with me, that's okay. Block time on your calendar now. Spend one afternoon setting this up and save yourself 50 panicked Mondays. No more scrambling for ideas. No more, we forgot to post today. Just clarity and a lot of breathing room. And then do me a favor. Drop your content ideas in the comments. I am so excited to hear what you're working on. And if this was helpful, hit subscribe. I've got a lot more videos on the way with smart, low stress ways to plan better and to stay ahead. Thank you so much for joining us. You got this. Go plan your year.